Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good week so far. So I've been tinkering with the ROG Ally for a couple months now, and there have been specific apps that I've used to make my experience on the ROG Ally a lot easier because I have run into the classic Windows OS problems that were mainly caused by Windows OS. So I came up with a list. If for some reason you're not familiar with Windows 11 or 10 or any of the other OSs, but specifically if you're jumping into the ROG Ally, it's going to have the Windows 11 Home operating system specifically. And this operating system can seem a lot more convenient than the other editions of Windows 11, but there are a lot more limitations. And so some specific apps that I used were just meant to mitigate the problems on Windows 11 Home specifically. And naturally, Naturally, all of the apps listed were optimized to work best on Windows and while gaming. Some of the apps listed will help to improve overall gaming performance on Windows 11 specifically. So if you choose to install another OS on your ROG Ally like SteamOS or any of the other Windows operating systems, your experience may vary. And now before any other application or program on the list, this one is the most important to me because I have been dealing with Windows Defender on Windows 11 Home for a few months after I started using ROG Ally. And I couldn't really find a workaround. I couldn't find anything that was a proper replacement for Windows Defender. I try to use Malwarebytes, Bitdefender, and everything just seemed to make my experience on the ROG Ally a tad more messy in terms of gaming and other programming features. And this is one of the most important programs if you intend on using a lot of third-party apps or just hate a specific Windows feature like Defender. This app will most likely save your life if you can't stand Windows Defender. And there are a lot of people out there trying to disable it. You can disable it for about a day, but sometimes it randomly turns back on in the middle of your session, which will mess up a lot of third-party applications because Windows sees basically anything that isn't Windows as malware. There really isn't any limit to Windows Defender's jank or its uncompromising nature. So this application specifically is called Defender Control. You can just search Defender Control on Google and it'll be the first application that shows up. All you have to do is install it, activate it, and Windows Defender is no more. And this is very good if you want to install your own antivirus and you don't want Windows Defender butting in like it does when you install Malwarebytes. Even with Malwarebytes Premium, Windows Defender still sees some features to be not as important as Windows Defender. So if you turn off real-time protection, Windows Defender will turn right back on. No matter what, Windows Defender will pick up any kind of weight that your other antiviruses aren't picking up. And Windows 11 Home specifically doesn't have an option to disable Windows Defender. In my opinion, this is a huge problem because you actually do not have any control of your Windows operating system. They're taking that away with the new Windows 11 Home. And Windows 12 is on its way, so this may just get worse. I've tried reinstalling certain aspects of Windows to enable and disable, but no matter what, it's only temporarily disabling Windows Defender. You need Defender Control in order to fully and permanently disable Windows Defender. And this shouldn't see as any kind of shady action. I should have complete and full control of the operating system that I bought. And Windows 11 Home does not give that to you. I see this as an incredibly huge downside to the operating system. Now, besides all of that hate for Windows Defender, there's another app that I personally use to track my game's performance and specifically the performance of my ROG Ally's battery life. And this application is called Battery Meter. This is the app I use to accurately measure how much battery I have left while playing a specific title. It's also an awesome Windows app to use to see your battery's health. You can customize the app's background and you could add it to your widgets. So pretty much you just have to flick up, go to widgets, and you'll see how much battery life you have left, opposed to hovering over the battery symbol on the taskbar and waiting for it to pop up with inaccurate numbers. But with Battery Meter, it's tailor-made for Microsoft's Windows. In fact, the only place to get it is in the official Windows application market that comes with Windows on the ROG Ally. And the next app on the list is something that I use frequently. I've actually been using it since I was 10, and it's by far the most flawless music and movie player I've ever used. And that is VLC. The default Windows Media Player app is all right, but syncing different folders with this specific media player over time will prove a lot more easy. A lot of people that normally use Windows have probably heard
heard of VLC, but it's something that runs spectacularly well in the background while I'm playing my games. If I'm in some kind of match with Street Fighter VI, I usually put music in the background with the VLC player. And I just find that VLC's compatibility with a lot of different file types is usually unmatched. But with Windows Media Player, I have a lot of issues with a lot of different types of music and video files. But no matter what file I try to use with VLC, everything seems to work so well. And I find with VLC, the reason why I like it the most is because it can actually exceed the 100% volume level. It can actually go to 250% from what I remember. So if a song or movie isn't as loud as you'd want it because a lot of these equalizers when people are editing videos or music don't really cut it you can either use an equalizer or you can just adjust the volume to what you want and usually i would like it extra loud sometimes because the song is extra low and vlc can go above 200 percent and that usually works like a charm especially with a lot of songs that i listen to while playing games i just love music so vlc to me is the top music application. Now with this next application, I have spoke about it before in a previous video. This application is Rewasp, and this is one of the most fluid controller companion apps for most, if not any controller. You can turn your PlayStation controller into an Xbox 360 controller. You can individually set a button on your controller into any Windows action. Just note that in order to get the full functionality of this app, you will have to pony up $7 or more. And I use this application every single time I open up a third party app or if I'm just not using Steam because a lot of the times my third party controllers don't show up on my PC. And so I pull up the Rewast app in order to make that controller detectable and functional. So if you like the silenced buttons on the PlayStation 5 controller and you like the way it feels, but you don't want the PlayStation controller's button mapping showing up on a specific game, if you're more used to seeing Xbox 360 or Xbox One or series controller layouts on your games, or if by default, that controller layout pops up in that game, you can just switch your PlayStation 5 controller into whichever Xbox controller you choose or want to see in that game. It just makes going from one controller to another in one playthrough a lot more convenient than getting a specific controller of the type that a game prefers, like an Xbox controller, because with the RG Ally, no matter what game I play, my Xbox Series controller is picked up by it. But with the PlayStation 5 controller, if I'm trying a Steam game or a third-party title or any other other launcher, I usually have trouble with that specific controller type. So I usually just go into Rewast and turn my PlayStation 5 controller into an Xbox controller so I won't have to deal with all of the confusion and complications that some games sometimes present. And for the last application on this list, I went through quite a few launchers to see if anything was better or worked more fluidly than Steam. And I looked into the Razer's Cortex launcher but for some reason that just wouldn't install on my ROG Ally properly. No matter what I did, the Razer Cortex launcher just didn't work. And as a lot of people know, Armory Crate has a few issues in terms of stability and reliability. So I have to say for this last application, the Steam app is one of the best, if not the best application to have on your ROG Ally. And if you don't have it, then that's actually surprising to me because the Steam app comes with Steam input, which can enable you you to customize rearrange any controller you want to any controller you want you can add third-party apps or programs to specifically launch them on the steam platform with steam input enabled when you launch it through steam so say you want to play a movie but all you have is a controller and you don't have any kind of remote or extended mouse or bluetooth mouse or keyboard but you want to use your playstation 5 controller all you simply have to do is add that movie player to steam and then it automatically picks up your controller so you can customize the input to your liking, meaning you can assign your mouse to the right analog stick, or if you're playing a movie with your PlayStation 5 controller, you can even assign the touchpad on the PlayStation 5 controller into a mouse. So out of any application on the Windows platform, I would have to say that Steam is the most reliable launcher out of anything, especially if you're into gaming and if you intend on using your ROG Ally for gaming, like most people are going to do. Then picking up the Steam app is definitely the way to go. And it is by far the number one application 
option and the most necessary app to use on my ROG Ally because you can go into big picture mode so it pretty much feels like a Steam Deck at times even though big picture mode is a lot more unstable than Steam OS. Using Steam is just so much easier and it doesn't require any worry or stress to use it. So yeah, with all of these apps like Defender Control, Battery Meter, VLC and all of the like, I can't recommend using all of these apps enough because they're pretty much the first things I installed on my ROG Ally before I did anything else. And remember to use all of these apps responsibly. They have a lot of permission on your PC. So really think about using apps like Defender Control if you want your ROG Ally to be completely secure. But yeah, that's all for the list today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Later.